dear students i hope you are all well and studying in your home few weeks ago we discuss about that air exerts its pressure okay today we are going to discuss about that uh, air expand on heating okay before that i want to tell you that some main points which is given by the black headings that increased wind speed is indeed accompanied by a reduced air pressure okay so this is a great thing which we read in the last chapter and in last uh, class and air moves movement of air air moves from the region where the air pressure is high to the region where the pressure is low so you have to remember it okay so now we read about air expands on heating you have to do an activity for that take a boiling tube stretch a balloon tightly over the neck of the tube you can use a tap to make it tight pour some hot water in a beaker insert the boiling tube with a balloon in the hot water observe for 2 3 minutes for any change in shape of balloon take the tube out let it cool down to the room temperature take some ice cold water in another beaker and place the tube with the balloon in cold water for 2 3 minutes observe the change in the shape of balloon think and try to answer what makes the balloon inflated when the boiling tube is placed in hot water okay this is the figure you can understand better the shape of balloon in hot and cold water so this boiling balloon tied over the neck of the boiling tube and boiling tube immersed in hot water and next boiling tube immersed in cold water so this is the activity so think and you have to try your answer what makes the balloon inflated when the boiling tube is placed in hot water why is the same balloon deflated when the tube is kept in cold water can we infer from the first observation that air expand on heating can you now state what happens to the air in the boiling tube when it cools down so now you can easily get your answer okay uh is that air expands on heating as you conclude so next could be is also is very interesting okay you can more understand about air take two paper bags or empty paper cups of the same size hang the two bags in okay the inverted position on the two ends of a metal or wooden stick tie a piece of thread in the middle of the stick hold the stick by the thread as you seen in figure 8.7 okay this type of structure you have to make put a burning candle below one of the bag as shown in the figure observe what happens why is the balance of the bag disturbed does this activity indicate that warm air rises up okay as the warm air rises up it pushes the bag above the candle you can see okay just like that does the disturbance of the balance suggest that the warm air is lighter than the cold air can you now explain why smoke always rises up also it is important to remember that on heating the air expands and occupies more space okay these are the some key points which comes in your chapter whenever you read so try to understand them when the same thing occupies more space it become lighter the warm air is therefore lighter than the cold air so here is conclusion of this activity is that warm air is lighter than the cold air okay that is the reason that the smoke goes up in nature there are several situations where warm air rises at a place the air pressure at that place is lowered the cold air from the surrounding areas 
arises in to fill its place this sets up convection in air as you learned in chapter 4 so you have to remember it wind currents are generated due to uneven heating of the earth so wind currents have generated uneven heating between the equator and the poles okay uh, wind currents generated due to uneven heating between the equator and the poles okay in geography class you uh, know about the equator okay it gets maximum heat from the sun okay equator plane you already read about that the air in this region gets warm the warm air rises and the cooler air from the region in the 0 to 30 degrees latitude belt on either side of the equator moves in these windows blow from the north and the south towards the equator at the poles the air colder than the than at latitude about 60 degrees the warm air at these latitude rises up and the cold wind from the polar regions rushes in to take its place in this way wind circulation is set up from the poles to warmer latitudes as shown in figure 8.8 so this is very easy okay you already know in geography class you will be read about the earth so these two poles are north pole and south pole and these planes in between the earth are called equator plane okay so here are warmer air okay warmer air rises up and goes to uh, north pole and from north pole colder uh, goes above okay and cold air will be come into this equator plane okay the wind flow pattern because of uneven heating of earth okay now pahali wonder why the winds shown in the figure are not in the exact north south direction okay you can see okay this wind is not in the this is towards south but it is not particular towards south okay and it is towards north but not fully to the north not in a straight the winds would have flown in the north south direction from north to south or from south to north a change in direction is however caused by the rotation of the earth so now we get your answer here that this will be happen due to the rotation of earth now we read about the uneven heating of land and water you have read about the sea breeze and the land breeze in chapter 4 in summer near the equator the land warms up faster and the most of the time the temperature of the land is higher than that of water in the ocean the air moves air over the land gets heated and rises this causes the wind to flow from the ocean towards the land these are monsoon winds as is shown in figure 8.9 okay the word monsoon is derived from the arabic word mausam which means season okay in winter the direction of the wind flow gets reversed it flows from land to ocean so you have to remember these points that in winter the direction of the wind uh, fl uh, it flows from land to the ocean and in summer time it it flows from ocean to the land i want to know what about the winds do for us first i show you figure of 8.10 okay so this is the figure 8.10 and 8.9 uneven heating of land especially the rajasthan desert generates monsoon winds from southeast direction in summer okay and uneven heating of land and water in winter generate winds from the northwest colder region these colder winds carry little water and spring a small amount of rain in winter so it's very easy if we talk about in winter okay normally the uh, wind generate from the northwest colder land okay and it get to the southwest the winds from the ocean carry water and bring rain it is a part of the water cycle the monsoon winds carry water and it drains 
clouds bring rain and give us happiness farmers in our country depend mainly on rains for their harvests there are many folk songs associated with clouds and rain sing with enjoy uh, with your friends if you know such a song here is one for you okay a song is given here okay so you can sing tell us the uh, roaring clouds across the sky tell us that monsoons here dark and floating clouds then pour rain drops every everywhere clouds make lightning flash overhead and irrigate fields with rain clouds make earth its fragrance spread when wet with drops of rain rising from the ocean vast clouds fill up with rain rain to ocean back at last to mingle with ocean again okay so this is a poem for related to clouds however it's not always a happy ending rains often create problems also can you list some of the problems okay you can discuss the cause uh, with your uh, parents or teachers also okay in nature itself there are certain situations that can sometime create disaster and pose threat to human and animals and plant lives let us study two such situations thunderstorms and cyclones okay mainly a uh, flood you will be say when someone question you due to rain but these thunderstorm and cyclones also major threats due to rain so we read about the thunderstorm and cyclones in next class thank you till then you can try to read about it